chat. What's up, YouTube? What's up, boys? Check-ins crazy now. It is November, what, 9th right now? November 9th. Feeling good. Feeling great. Never been better in my life. Never had a bad day in my life. How's everybody going out there in the social media world? I, I, I went to log on and, and see all these articles about how Twitch streaming is hard. It's it's tough. My anxiety is really rough. It's 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 really, it's hard to be a streamer. Don't let anybody ever tell you that. Don't let anybody ever tell you that. All right, boys. Don't let them tell you that. In fact, when people complain about streaming, it's an insult. It's an insult to all you hardworking guys out there. Any hard workers out there in the world? I got any of my, any of my blue collar guys in the building early in the pot in the pod ski right now. Let me know, man, if y'all here. Let me know, but all right. Ward, imagine Ward working. Imagine that. Imagine, imagine. Oh, like I just, I don't, I don't like that. Cause like, streaming has its downsides, and I think about them a lot, you know. And then, but then I realize, man, it's still a super blessing. You know what I'm saying. So I'm saying, like, for me. I feel like when you're blessed, I feel like you need to understand that and you need to, uh, you always need to have that on your mind. You always need to be aware of your blessing, you know, that's how I feel. It is tough to always keep that, keep that in your, like, always remember, I bet everybody, everybody, um, everybody struggles with that, keeping the, you know, keeping your, your blessings in the forefront of your thoughts, you know, I think we always tend to think about the uh, negatives we have going on in our lives for real. And it's so much easier to think about the negatives because they're so much heavier, aren't they? Aren't they so much heavier and so much more stressful? But if you keep the positives in the, in the, in the, you know, in the windshield, so to speak, or head on, keep the positives there, you'll do better for real. It's hard to entertain. Not really. It's not as tough as other jobs. Not even close. Not even close. It's not even close. Mentally, it's kind of tough. You got to fight through. You got to be mentally You got to be mentally tough. You have to be. And if you're not, the job's not for you, man. But Astral World. We will have rapid fire. You guys ask more questions. I did just get this helmet. I got this helmet from one of my one of my groups I'm in. It's a Javon Curse custom helmet. It was that actually, you know, Javon Curse isn't that crazy. Like Javon Curse is a hell of a uh, a hell of a, a eagle. But you know, I don't really like the super fancy helmets. I don't. But it, yo, this we got such a deal with this. I had to grab it, you know. And it's got the little inscriptions. Javon Curse the Freak. You know what I'm saying? Just got this authentic little helmet. I could wear it if we want to. If we want to, you know, but the best part is got these little it's got the stickers, it's got the little back plate with the eagles. You know what I'm saying? Javon Curse, there it is. So, but I, the one thing, I, didn't, I I blame my man, Mr. Ferocious. All he does is send me pictures of helmets, right? He just sends me pictures of helmets, and then I start getting addicted to them. You know? And I'm like, bro, I need, I need more, I need more, I need more. So I'm definitely always on the lookout for different ones. And I don't think I could have, I don't think you could have a hundred different of the same Eagles helmets. I think you need the, the white one, the black one, the green one. Bro, shit is sad. I mean, the only good thing is, like, they kind of really never lose their value, you know? Bronco Country. Where am I? I will be in Denver this weekend. We're going on vacation, family vacation. A lot of my family lives in Denver, so we will be driving out there for the Eagles versus Broncos. So I will be in a, in, in the tailgate for the Bron in the Broncos stadium. So if any of you guys are Broncos fans, any Broncos season ticket holders, slide through. Doing great, boys. Doing great. 
So I did just get that in the mail. In fact, today I'm leaving Thursday night, like midnight. Cause listen, the baby's a champ when we drive during the night. If he got to do eight hours in the daytime, nah, he's not going. He's not going. But we have a cousin that lives in Kansas City, which is halfway from here to Colorado. So we'll leave Thursday. Like I like I like I start a stream. I'm gonna start driving. And then we'll get to Kansas City like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., hang out with my cousin. And her, her she got little kids, too. Um, I think the oldest might be like 12, then like 7, then like 3. Uh, we'll hang out with them all day. I'll probably sleep. And then we'll leave Friday night to go from Kansas City to, to Colorado Springs. And we'll get there Saturday morning. Then we'll drive from Colorado Springs to Denver, which is an hour early in the morning for the Eagles game. And go there and then I'll do the same thing again start Monday night so that's our my little vacation which is going to be a lot of driving but I like it now this is my other question to you guys now I've never been a, a headphone guy when driving uh, I feel like you always need to be able to hear when you're driving right but I'm feeling like I'm, I'm feeling like I'm bringing the headphones this trip to drive I have the little bud skis, the pod, the bud, the buds you put in your ear right here. You know what I'm saying? I could go one skull candy. I could do that. You see them right here. You know the little buds. One buds. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not a bad idea. Because they're going to be asleep. It's going to be like 3 in the morning. And I put my phone on the dashboard with the movies or the show or whatever, you know. But when you're driving... On the highway at 3 a.m., I mean, there's me in the road, really. And then the trucks, but the trucks always stay in the right lane, and they cruise at 60, 65 miles an hour, you know. Only thing I need is, like, something to eat, Right? My biggest thing where I, first of all, I can drive. I, 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 I am, I think my dad always had us doing road trips. Like some people don't like driving an hour for me, dude. It's like, cause he'll be sleep. She'll be sleep. It's like the biggest quiet time thinking time in the world. It's, you know, and I have the big ass truck. So I'm si it's not like I'm sitting in this low ass Honda Civic or some shit. I'm chilling. You put the cruise control on. Yeah, like a trail mix. I like sunflower seeds because you can eat them for hours, never get full, and you're always chewing paws. So sunflower seeds are kind of my go-to to kind of make sure I never get tired. You know, that's that's how I feel. But you're right. Uh, trail mix, something like that. No, I don't think I get thirsty from sunflower seeds, you know. I don't know, but then I have a giant, I'll have this giant jug of water filled up with water. I mean, it's not like, it's not, it's not like I'm on the desert and I chose one snack and I took sunflower seeds. No, I'm not bringing the skull. No, not at all. Not at all. Beef jerk, beef jerky is amazing. It's the best. It just costs so much goddamn money for nothing. Right, boys? Here you go. Get five pieces of beef jerky for seven dollars. It's like, what the? Where'd you get this beef from? The Himalayas or some shit? It's just not worth it, for real. It's not worth it at all. Even Slim Jims. Slim Jims is like the ass of the the cow or the ass of the pig. You think Slim Jims is good meat? No. It should just be buku expensive though. I, I listen. I fuck with a Slim Jim. Now, I don't know if y'all feel like Slim Jims are W's or L's, but I'm going to be honest, I kind of fuck with a Slim Jim. Now, it's not over regular ass jerky, but Slim Jim's not bad. That's what I'm saying, straight. Even bad jerky is bad. J Dizzy, 13 months. Let's go. Hella subs, my boys. I appreciate it. But yeah, so we're going away. One, Twitch streaming is not that damn hard. All right. Listen, it's just it's not. It's mentally tough. I will tell you, Twitch streaming, mentally, it's tough. And that's where people are fucking weak. I'll tell you that right now. They're weak. You don't make it in this streaming thing without... It's not... It, you don't make it without being tough mentally. All y'all do is make fun of people that stream. They, I said to them, you got to be a punching bag for the internet. And that's true. 
the sooner you realize that you're a punching bag and you accept it, the better off you'll be. Just make my own beef jerky. Yeah, Vag Blast. Let me go ahead and do that, dude. Let me put it in my smoker out back in my in my uh, backyard. Put go get kill a couple deer. Put them in my smoker for three weeks. And work well. Hello, and sell it, and sell it on the corner, right? Sell it on the corner. Let me sell it on the corner. Crazy dude. Yeah, get some moonshine, Lou. Moonshine jerky. What else am I making? Now nah, I did buy. All right, all right. I did buy. All right, Devin Gamer, you're out of here, dude. See you on the podcast, or you on the podcast? So if you fill out, I'm bearing a question. Might be back later. All right, so we are going. Lamrack, where were you at last night? We were getting crazy doves without you. But anyway, I am going to game. So I got the truck. Now we'll tell you, the truck is the best tailgating outside of probably an RV. Obviously, if you have an RV, the tailgating must be phenomenal if you have an RV, right? But for me, the truck is is just unreal, right? You pull into the spot, right? You go to the tailgate, pull into the spot. Pop the tailgate down. You got your whole table right there. You could sit in the back of the truck. You could put a whole cooler in the back of the truck. You could have anything you want in the truck, right? So I bought a little. I bought a little. A little stove, just a little propane stove. You put the skillet on top. Hook up the propane. Light it up. Boom. Throw the burgers and the dogs on there. That's all you need. So that's what I got. Um, I don't know what else do I need. I asked you guys, what else do I need for a tailgate? You guys said wings. How the hell am I making wings on the spot? I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking before I get there ever. Oh yeah, truck is a must. It's a must. Carne asada. I mean, that seems like a bit much. I feel like burgers and dogs is all I need. This is not a Mexican tailgate. Although, surprisingly, Colorado might be like one of the top Mexican food places in the world. I mean, you have Mexico. You have Texas is probably crazy. L.A. is insanely good Spanish, Latino, Mexican food. But Denver has, bro, Denver has a lot of Mexican food. That, I'm telling you, you'd be surprised. I'm talking OD. It's like Denver and Colorado in general, Mexican food is top notch there for real. Yeah, that's all you need. Dudes be wanting, well, you need this, you need this. <laughs> pre-marinated. It's not that deep for me, man. It's not. TV to watch games after the game, games after for after game. So, well, the Eagles game is actually the night game. I'll be honest. I'm not worried about other games, dude. I'm not. That's, and like, how do you do that? Like, how do you, all right, I'm going to bring a TV Say I bring a monitor. Now, I wouldn't do this unless I, like, had Eagles season tickets, right? I bring a monitor. I put it in the back of my truck, right? But how do I hook that? I guess I would, like, I would need some type of generator for electric, right? And then I would need to, like, stream it from my phone or from the internet or something. Like, I, do any of y'all do that? Sixers are pissing you off. Well, the Sixers have, uh, like, seven players out. And it's the regular season. I mean, I mean, I feel like in Colorado you have to go cores, right? Yeah, you probably need a giant generator, hook up your your monitor, and then you have to hook up probably. I don't even know how you would do all that shit. You probably need some crazy Wi-Fi, right? Because I feel like you could pull up, you could pull up with the flat screen in the back of the truck, right? You could pull up with like a 60 inch in the back of the truck and just whip that joint up when you get there, like have it in like a tarp and like some blankets and a tarp and just whoop, prop it up. But you probably need some crazy Wi-Fi and some crazy generator or something. It probably ain't that hard to do it. Mm. 
Mile high, high spot could go crazy. It could. That's a good point. That's a good point. Listen, I'm not that worried about it for real, for real. All right. Do y'all play cornhole? I'm not a cornhole guy. I swear to God, in Philly they'd be calling it bago too, bago, or some dumb shit. Bags. Y'all call it bags? First of all, it's called cornhole. Right? Y'all know what cornhole is? Now, I'll be honest. She coaches volleyball, right? Like teenage high school girls volleyball, middle school girls volleyball. And one of the dads was like, was like pro cornhole. Like this dude was cracked. And it pissed me off. You ever do something that's fun? Like, for real. Like, when you run into the sweats and something, it ruins it. I swear to God. When you find out a sweat in anything that you do for fun, it ruins it for the rest of your life. So this dude is like, yo, he's just dropping them. You hit a jaw on... Yo, you would hit one on the joint, hanging in, and he'd just knock that shit out. Like, how you, like, bro, like, what? Yeah, like Madden. Like, you have fun running your verticals and your fucking inside zone and your damn level sales. Then you run into fucking fancy, and you're like, this shit sucks. Why would I ever play this game? I got to compete with these nerds? No way. It's no fun. So that's what that guy did to me in Cornhole. Right? It's like, bro, I never want to play Cornhole again. I'll never be as good as this guy. His life is committed to cornhole. What the hell? And that's when you realize, and that's when you realize, what is my purpose? If this guy can be this good at cornhole, what am I good at? Right? And I'm lucky enough to have my my little, my areas that I excel in. You know. But then I think about the regular human. What the, like, look at Ward. What the fuck is he good at? Look at Mallow. What do they got? If you're one of them dudes, your whole life is ruined. For real. So I wake up blessed every day that I at least have some things I excel in. Right? Ward is a lifeguard. I, Ward, I didn't, there's no, like, Ward, you're a lifeguard? I can't lie. If I'm in the pool and I look up and I see Ward goofy ass with the suntan lotion on his nose, oh, hell no. I wouldn't feel good. I wouldn't feel safe. When's the last time I went to a Flyers game? A fella took me to a Flyers game. Good fella, right? He was opening a store down on the boardwalk. Now, I don't know if you guys are from nah, this story. He was opening a store on the boardwalk. He had like a hat business. He made hats. Big Kep actually linked me up with this guy. He had Flyer season tickets. Kep was like, this guy wants to do a Madden tournament. So I go to the Flyers game with him, and he's pitching me this Madden tournament. This is probably like two years ago or something. So he's pitching me. I got this idea, man. We could do a Madden tournament. I got money. I just came up crazy. I got all this money I want to put into this Madden tournament. I want to have it down to the boardwalk. I'm thinking to myself, Man tournaments suck now. I'll be honest. Land tournaments are dead. They're just dead. One, I, the number one reason they're dead is because nobody plays regs. And it's impossible. It's, it's damn near impossible to have a mutt land tournament where people just show up. It's impossible, right? So that killed Madden land 100%. Just absolutely killed it. It's dead. They're absolutely dead. Live Madden tournaments are dead. Not to mention, not only did mutt being the mode kill it, Jacksonville definitely killed it too. No pun intended. I apologize. But Jacksonville kind of really said we staying home to play video games, right? So I'm thinking of this guy like, all right, this is a dumbass idea. Now he tells me, I'll give you five grand or something to do this man tournament. And I told him, I'm like, bro, that's just not gonna work. It's just not it's just it's not it's not worth it for you to spend because I told him you're gonna need to pay out ten thousand dollars at least. And I told him for you to spend 20, 30 grand for a man tournament to promote your hat store, it's not going to work it. It's not worth it, dude. And I straight told him, but he took me to Flyers game. And that was the last time. 
Hockey is probably the best sport live, really. Hockey and basketball, too. But basketball, you need good seats. Hockey, you can sit anywhere, and it'd be a good game, for real, for real. Hockey, you can sit anywhere. Basketball, you need good seats. Football, you need good seats. Hockey, you can dead ass be at the top. You can be anywhere. Shit's, shit's lit. There's no way boxing. I, I don't know. I don't even like that shit. I don't like that shit. I don't like boxing. Man. That shit looks fucking. I feel like you can't see this shit. Like, how can you see boxing? You know what I'm saying? Is it cold at a hockey game, Jake? That come on, dude. You're not that stupid. I will tell you this, Shrek. It's 19 months. My cousin played hockey, and that was cold. When you went into like a when you went into like a like a little bullshit rink where like kids play, all right, it gets a little cold then. Like a little neighborhood hockey rink, yeah. Then you kind of feel the cold a little bit, but not a not like a real NHL shit. Oh, football is terrible in person. Football is so overrated in person. I will tell you. It just depends. Like, the NFC Championship game when the Eagles beat the Vikings to go to the Super Bowl, that shit was lit. I can't hold you. That shit, I can't. I can't imagine not being at that game. That game was crazy. But yeah, football football's kind of weak. It's just so good on TV that it's like a random game. Yeah, it's not worth it. Like I'm gonna spend. Pff, first of all, I bought all the tickets for my cousins, and I told them all they got. I told my cousins all they gotta buy is the food and the beers. That's it. I said I don't want to spend any money on Sunday. Y'all buy the food. Y'all buy the beers in the stadium, out of the stadium. Y'all ain't gotta buy the tickets. That's what. And y'all pay for parking and shit. So I bought them all the tickets. So hopefully I don't got to spend no money on Sunday, but we'll see. Yeah, the Eagles blew them, blew them out. The Vikings, it was it was popping for real, for real. Yeah, but. One, Twitch streaming is it's a blessing. It's not a hard job. I will be an arrowhead in four years or three years. I will definitely be an arrowhead. Hopefully my cousin still lives there. If my cousin still lives there, I will one hundred percent be there. Eagles Chiefs. I feel like it's kinda it's kinda dumb to not dumb to I wanna go to the Eagles games. I I don't know if I'd go to like I've been to a bunch of Browns games. I went to Peyton Manning versus the Browns, but like a team that's not the Eagles, I'm not that. Nah, it's just kind of ass. I mean, I've been to Kansas City. I'm going to Kansas. I'll be in Kansas City this week and go to, uh, whatchamacallit. What's it called? Um, all the little barbecue spots. K9 or some shit. What's it called? K99. K, what's that joint called? Dude, my pictures are weak as shit, boys. The best barbecue I ever had was St. Louis. It was definitely over, uh... What's that other shitty place I had? Definitely over Kansas City.
No, nah, KC not over St. Louis. I'm trying to look for pictures from the, uh, from what you call from KC. Oh, here we go, KC right here. Bullshit, KC. I like dry. I like traveling across it because I like being on my own time and shit like that. You know. This was downtown Kansas City. They got like this the the the, the jazz section. The Negro the Negro League Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I went to here too. Kansas City. They told me this the best. Ah, wasn't bad. This is the giant bat. Oh, that's Louisville. Yeah, this was Kansas City. All right, let's talk about Madden. As we just talked about nothing for 20 minutes. There was a patch November 4th, boys. November 4th patch notes. November Louisville. November 4th patch notes, boys. All right, before before we look at the patch notes, are, were they good or bad, boys? What are we thinking here? Are we filling the patch? Are we are we all in? Hey, Madden fans. First, thank you all for playing Madden NFL 22. We feel the excitement from you each year, and we know how passionate you are about the game. We love seeing your response to the new features like game day momentum, ass, ass, and our improvements to franchise. I don't know. I haven't played franchise. We have much more content to come. Our launch updates focus on many of the issues that Madden players report to us. We thank you for your feedback. We've helped us improve Madden 22. We look forward to your feedback and are committed to continuing to make our game better. Below is a detailed breakdown on what's included in today's our key highlights. Updated lot. This is the first thing they did was get rid of John Gruden. Holy shit. That's the first. I will tell you this. User control delay fades removed is the biggest W patch in the history that I remember. Oh my god, this is such a W. This is such a big deal, man. Oh my god. Because, like, delay fades made you able to max protect and be high powered on the same damn play. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pick, you can't have both. Like you, you, like this was such a good deal. Now, I, all the other things with the patch, I don't give a shit, really. No, instead of doing delay fades, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I can't get more happy over it. I can't get more happy about this. I could not stop boot over. I couldn't. That shit was like real. Like it's just stupid. You can block everybody, play action, have the have a, a tight end on a streak that goes out when you want. This was such a big deal. Yeah, they don't block it. They're done. The delay fade is done. It is a delay routes to the tight end or ass. I would have loved if they made the, the delay fade a hitch instead of a streak. That would make delay. Because you could do delay. I feel like you should be able to do delay flats and delay drags and user control. The delay the delay streak was kind of nasty. But this is such a big deal. Uh, such a big positive. Oh, my God. I don't see how anybody. No speed burst. Uh, yes, it has made. It has made defense tougher. Like, I, when I have speed burst, I would be like, all right, I'm going to start in the box and go lurk the flat instantly. I, you can't do that no more. But I'm cool with no speed burst. I'm cool with that shit. All right, here we go. Authenticity updates. See, I don't care about that. A lot of people care about it. It's a dub. Leonard Williams and Tyron Matthew. Hair, beard updates. That's a dub. Always good with that. Honestly, this type of shit should be instant. Should be instant. Be honest with y'all. Should be instant. I mean... Pass coverage. Woo -hoo -hoo. Here's the big one here, boys. 
Fixed an issue in cover three with the outside deep third corner, leaving fade routes wide open to instead cover a corner route. This is literally, this is Skimbo patching Skimbo. That's what this is. But, you know, like, <sighs> I'm, I'm cool with it, man. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, boys, how I feel about it. It's, <laughs> if you don't know how to, how to cover it, should you just get bombed every play? Well, I think clear out in Seattle sucked for cover three. I think they were fucking. I think that play sucked. I thought that play always when I when you put a corner route next to the fade in Seattle, that shit sucked. For cover three, the Washington clear out was cracked. The Seattle one sucked. The Seattle one's not. I, I feel like it's better cover two than fucking cover three, really. No, like I like. I don't know. You got a couple options here, right? Bart did have both. <laughs> Bart had both. I, first of all, let me let me say this before we talk. I mean, I have my opinion on what the game should do and what shouldn't do, right? No, I mean, I cover three. You have a lot of options to cover those deep routes, but I I feel like here we this. I feel like. Zones, deep blues included, should be shaded. I feel like if you were in cover three and you shade shade up, okay, now he's not biting on any corner route, anything. You shade up, right? But if you shade down, okay, now the outside third should go crazy and be way more aggressive. Or something like that. Like, the third should take away something and right now it went back to taking away the deep pass now i don't know if it takes away corner routes i don't know i really haven't spammed them enough uh you know i really haven't but you know you just gotta know what they take away the corner route or the deep you know what i'm saying i i don't i don't mind it i i, I find myself personally i get in more trouble I, I I find myself I play better when I don't look for bombs all the time and try to get one play, to, especially against good people, man. I I really like I feel personally I play better keeping like just playing slower. Really, I play better that way. And and so for me, getting rid of the bombs, you know, I'm not too worried about it. You know, I agree, fancy. I agree. You know, like. I feel like the streaks run people off. Oh, fucking D in this game. Like, oh, D. The fact, the fact we're chucking verticals like 50 yards down the field and the, the deep blues can't, like, that's kind of fucking wild, really. But, yeah. I don't know what they got to do. Bring back cross, man, dude. Bring back cross, man. I was so good on defense when I could just cross man your stupid ass same plays over and over. It took a real man to pass against cross. You had to have real route combos to pass against cross man. You really did. Now these kids can run the, you know what I'm saying? Now the kids can run the same play over and over and spam the same play over and over and over and over and you can't you really can't do nothing about it. But as far as cover three, the, I think the biggest deal is that I feel like they've they've switched it all year, right? I don't think it got bombed early in the year. Did it get bombed? I don't even remember. It got bombed by verticals. Remember, they have fixed cut. This is the third time. Literally the title of the podcast, the third cover three patch. Verticals bombed it, right? Then they patched it to where corner routes just obliterated it. <laughs> and now it's like, now they made it, all right, we're letting people, you know, keep the ball in front of them. That's fine to me, you know. For real.
Listen, they need to just bring back man coverage. Bring back one. Make one step, one AP, bro. Do it. Do it. All right, let's see what else they said. Fixed an issue causing cornerbacks playing outside deep third while aligned in the press to turn incorrectly after bailing deep. Does this not happen anymore? So you can't throw over a third anymore? A third doesn't... I love two men under. I love playing it. I love playing against it. It was my favorite. Fixed an issue causing cover three to fail in covering a hot route streak from the slot. Out of the plate, gun bunch verticals. <laughs> I cannot believe verticals uh, out of bunch has been in a game this long. For real, I, I I cannot believe of all the plays they've taken out. How have they not changed gun bunch verticals, dude? How have they not changed this fucking play, bro? It is the best play in the history of Madden. It has been in Madden for twenty years. All right, fixed an outside an issue with the outside deep quarter cornerbacks using match construct. With a receiver on the opposite. Jesus. Okay. Tuning to increase the non-engaged pass rush moves by AI pass rushers. I don't know what that means. Non-engaged pass rush moves. Hmm. Fixed an issue preventing the ball locator. Uh, Live playbooks, live playbooks. Franchise. They need to fix yellow zones not covering wheel routes. J Riz, I agree. Auto flip his ass. What did War say? Yeah, I do. We have to realize at some point is that, you know, they're not doing all these fixes for you, me, and Dupree. They're doing the fixes for Timmy's and shit like that. Don't want to keep playing. Like, if I play Madden and, and, like, if I was shitty and I just kept giving up bombs when I got three people deep, I, you know, I, I would be a little upset about that shit. That's all. And that's who the, they need more people playing the game. And part of me steps back and I say, would I be more successful in my career if more people played and liked Madden? Not even good people. You know, like, what What do I want, Chris McFarlane, what do I want to help me, ideally? For real. So, like, I don't think, I, first of all, the delay fade has helped me. I'm getting rid of that shit. Dude, people suck now. For real. Yeah. So, I know where my mindset is. I don't know. The delay fade was... I, I feel like the patch alone was a dub for the delay play, delay fade as a dub, you know. And for me, uh, the cover three thing, I just feel like they should leave it the same, you know. I, I don't... There should always be a way to bomb pretty much every coverage, I think. You just got to have the right... You got to call the right route combinations against the right defense at the right time. That's how I feel. I will tell you this on everything I love, that stopping the run is easier than stopping PA boot over. I I feel that way. That play is That play is insane. Fix cover two. Shit, I like cover two. I don't think there's anything wrong. With it. Like, 
cover two has probably been like the most dominant defense in Madden for like the last forever years, right? It, it definitely has super weaknesses this year, but when you call it, you have to know those weaknesses. What do you want it to cover everything? It, it can't cover the whole field. It just can't. It's only two people back deep. On a, and You know what I'm saying? It's, it can't cover everything. I don't know what y'all want cover two to do. No, no, no. See, PA boot over was easy to stop until I ran the Gus. Gus was a different PA boot over. Corner routes wreck cover two. Dragon spell zero seven three one. I would tell you that corner routes or cover two stops corner routes better than any other route that they stop. But you know, whatever you're having success with, keep throwing those corners against cover two. Agbo, what are you? Shut up. As a matter of fact, get timed out. I just hate when people bring up Madden 20. I really hate when I bring up Madden 20, bro. Just, I, I ain't want to ban you, my bad. I just want to give you a time ski. Like, I hate when people bring up cover Madden 20. I really do. I lost to Banks in Madden 20. Now, I've never been one to tell y'all I'm the I'm the Lord's gift to Madden. But I lost to Banks in Madden 20. I didn't lose to Jaybird though. I'll tell you that. That dude was still a shitter. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> no matter how good they make the run. I'll tell you that. Shooter McGavin. Some, why would a 30-yard zone play a crosser that's at 40 yards? Doesn't make sense. Right? Like, this I feel. Zone drop shouldn't have no damn limit. Why the hell are we limited the 30-yard zone? Why can't we have a 50-yard flat zone? Why not? Yeah, why not? I think, hey, shit. I don't know. I don't know. Does this game suck? I don't think it sucks that bad. Maybe I just like playing it. I don't know. I tend to not think. Because, I, I, like, maybe it sucks. I don't know. I don't like. I. I I, I tend to never really complain about the game too. Man, 20 sucked. That man 20 shit, when dudes ain't have quarterbacks, when dudes had arm bar, there's no way y'all stick up for that, dude. There's no way. Like, that was brutal. And we all said it at the time. But this year, I don't, I, I mean, it sucks, but it's, it's not that bad. It, it's good, but it sucks at the same time. I have fun. I like playing this game. I like playing good people. When I play, I swear the game makes you more mad when you play shitters. You know, I just have always liked playing. I even like playing Man Twenty. So I, I, I'm the wrong person to ask. I yo, Mar Matty Ice. I'm banning you again. I'm banning you again. I hate when people say that. I really want to strangle motherfuckers. Passer versus passer. That's like saying, yo, man, I really loved Madden when I was winning. That's like what it's saying. Yo, yo. Shazier and Tillman. Can I play a game? Not for you, buddy. First class? Yeah, you're the fuck out of here. Might is so much pay to play, McLaren. 
Have you watched the No Money Spent series on YouTube? Have you watched that? Have you tuned in? That I was kicking people ass with gold cards. McLaren, I'll just be honest. Me and you probably aren't the same person. You know what I'm saying? You might need to pay to play, but I get it done with gold, baby. You hear me? I just hate that. Like, how do you show up? And do y'all not see this shit? I have, like, topics above my head. I have a chat next to me. The title of the... And they asked me to play a game in the middle of the show. Like, where have you been? Outer space, dude. For real. I only have enough to buy Ronnie Lott or Troy P. You need a better job, Swaylo. What do you do, dude? Are you in school? Start scamming people, dude. Start scamming people. One time I got scammed on Mutt. One time. I think we've all got scammed. I got scammed for the two for one. They got me with the two for one. And funny story is, I had a Riley Cooper card. I got got from my Riley Cooper. I did. Riley Cooper was like a 94 overall. Dude was like... That was crazy. Because I was a working man. I didn't have a lot of money. You know, but I put my money on the game because I loved it. So I got there. This guy hops and said, Yo, I'm getting rid of my team, man. I don't want to play no more. You got two for one. What type of cards you got? So yeah, I got this Riley Cooper. So, oh, for real? Oh, I got the, it was a Marcel Reese and somebody else. And I sent the two trades and he only accepted the one. Or some shit. I forget what happened. Yeah. So I, so he got my Marcel Reese. I want, I forget what the fuck happened. But anyway, I got scammed. Then the dude booted me from the Xbox party and I never heard, I, you, you remember the Xbox party noise? And you was out the party. And my soul went out my body. What's the shape of Italy? That's literally how it went. That's literally how it was. And I was booted out the party. My soul left. But I'll tell you this. Fool me once. I have never been scammed a day in my life. Oh, since then, never. Never. No, sir, not me. No, sir, not me. If you fall for a scam twice, you a different type type of stupid. I got got. Yeah, yeah, everybody got got from a man scam. It sound good because you be thirsty. Because you, you, like, I, I've gotten to the point where you kind of forget the thirst of a young mutt guy trying to get cards and not understanding really how to get the best cards. And looking at, like, damn, my team sucks. I'm lo-. You know, I sometimes when you get to this position, uh, uh, you forget what it's like to be a regular dude trying to get a mutt team. And I'm sorry to you guys that I'm, I've become insensitive to that. Because I've gotten to the point where I really don't give a shit about y'all. So it leads for me to be insensitive. And I want to tell y'all that I apologize about that. But, you know. The card duplicator. Yo, give me your moss. I can duplicate it. Yeah. But everybody going to scam. Bro, scammers all over the place out here. Two for 20. Or I'll turn your 200 to 2,000. That's what Eduardo does for work. Long hair don't care. Yeah, he asked me earlier in the year. When yo, when he first started watching my stream, he DM'd me, yo, yo, for real, I got this inside track. I could turn your two hundred to two thousand. I swear to God. I was like, yo, I said need more info. He ain't say shit back. That was the last and I I ain't talked to him for like a month or two after that. Then he started becoming a regular in the stream. Swear to God. Herbalife scam. Oh Lord, the Herbalife is the worst scam. Herbalife. You know why? Cause it scams on fat people. That's that's insecure. That's why. Herbalife is the biggest scam there is. Cause you know, like when you fat people, right? 
every day you wake up and you say to yourself, today's the day, right? Yo, I'm about to just, I'm about to eat good. And you got hella, you got hella energy towards, you got hella energy towards bettering yourself, right? So you say, you know what? I'm going to buy hella Herbalife. This is my day, right? So you never, fat people kind of the easiest people to scam, right? Because they always have that epiphany every day that today is the day. And it never becomes, and the worst part is for 95% of fat people, it never becomes that day. So they have the unlimited epiphany of today is that day. So they can get scammed over and over and over and over and over and over. For real. And it's when you think about it, it's a sad, that's why Herbalife Herbalife is a sad scam. Cause them motherfuckers know that the fat people don't have the don't have the self control to really grind that shit, and they keep hustling them. You know. It's hard for me. I'd be like, today's the day. She ordered Chick-fil-A today for lunch. I said, no, I'm about to just make some eggs and some steak. I don't want Chick-fil-A. Did I want a spicy deluxe? Apps of fuck. I wanted two of them bitches. Double waffle fries. Yes. With a lemonade. Yes. But what did I say? No. Part of me wants to say, you know what? Fuck it. What I need to be skinny for? That's the question I ask everybody. What I need to be skinny for? Nobody has an answer. There is no answer. <laughs> Two of them jaws. Don't get the deluxe. The deluxe is lettuce and tomato. If anything, I feel like it make it a little bit hotter. All right, boys. Overall, patch has to be a W. Because it fixed tight end delays. Now, if the next patch just took every running play out of the game, oh my god, it'd be great. Would be a great game without running plays. Madden would be an amazing game without running plays. Imagine without running plays how good Madden would be. You know what, Falcons? It's hard as shit to cover the running back, right? It's not, I'll be honest. It's not hard as shit to cover the running back. It's really not. Like let's let's keep let's 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 reel that in. It's not that hard to cover the running back. The problem is you have to commit so much of your defense to stop him. Now I say to myself, what is it like trying to guard Christian McCaffrey? Is that possible? You know. Is Christian McCaffrey that hard to guard? Was Marshall Falk that hard to guard? Yes, right? Uh, and that's what halfback master backfield mismatch does. It makes them that hard to guard. So the problem with the AI and guarding a running back is like in real life, I don't care if it's me and Earl and we got to guard Marshall Falk, right? I'll tell Earl, you get the out route. I'll get the in-breaking routes, right? So two people could guard the running back. In Madden, you can't do that, right? You essentially got to have a person on the left and the right of the running back every play because you don't know which way he's going. <laughs> like, Ugh. Bring back fumble. I mean, that's a valid argument to bring back fumbles. It is. But then they hit you with a wheel. So the running back is definitely a, uh, I'm going to try 32 most. All right. Y'all ready to ask some questions? Rapid fire is the segment where y'all got five to 10 minutes to ask any question you want. A lot of times when you guys ask Madden questions, I air you guys out because they're stupid. But rapid fire, you get to ask anything. I will answer as many questions as I can. Alan. They do have 146 ward. It's called fucking 245. Like, what? Get what? 
All right, see, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, like Ward just said some dumb shit, so I had to air him out, you know, and I don't do that in the rapid fire segment. I don't. I don't. All right, well, here we go. Rapid fire. Go, boys. What was the best man in the last past five years? Was that Madden 17 count? If it's not Madden 17, it's Madden 21 easily. Favorite cookie? Sugar cookie. Followed by oatmeal raisin. Followed by the chocolate chip. Hurricane or I don't know what a hurricane is. You got to go Blizzard. Blizzard is top tier elite. The best movie at training day. Who do I think wins Thanksgiving belt? Clef. Floods. Clef should win easily. I have not played any chill. I would love to. What kind of cheese on a deluxe pepper jack? Have to go pepper jack. You need that extra spice. OBJ's landing spot. What a... I, oh, man. OBJ's landing spot. Who cares? He's irrelevant. Uh, Co- You gotta go Coke over Pepsi. It's the OG, triple OG. Coke Zero is actually fire. Pizza or cheesesteak? I might say pizza. Why? Because you get a pizza, you might have two meals. You get a cheesesteak, you kind of only have one meal, boys. Definitely Call of Duty over Battlefield. Battlefield is like OD extra. Favorite Blitz in all of Madden. Like, all time? DB Fire. Definitely. Or Stinger. Money plays against cover two, man. Fucking flood, dude. Best cheesesteak in Philly is you can go to any pizza store and get a cheesesteak. That'll be good. The best part about being a dad is seeing him smile and be happy. You know, I feel like your whole your whole day and your whole mood is like what is his mood like? If he's cranky, you're cranky. Uh, and to see him happy and smile over stuff is just, that's just like, it makes you feel like you, you're you doing everything right. Best TV show is Sopranos. Who wins a 40-yard dash, Vic or Lamar? I might go Lamar. Lamar is a sicko, dude. No, my son actually is like never. He's actually super well behaved. Now, I'm be honest with y'all. I went to um, we went to a a baby class today. It was like a baby play date. This there's like an old school toy store here in Dublin, in Ohio. Dublin's like kind of a, sn- a snooty tooty town, and a uh, hoity toity snooty, right? So we go to Dublin, uh, and it's like this baby musical play date with other babies. There was only one other baby. So it was my son, this other boy, and his father, and me and Sarah, and our son. And they just, they, the, they were both like 10 months old. And the lady just like sung songs and gave him little toys to play with and shit. He was chilling. He was chilling. He The other baby was 11 months old. Christopher is 10 months. But Christopher was faster than him. The other baby couldn't crawl that good. Christopher was flooding him. What's the biggest challenge you're facing, currently facing as a career streamer? Madden. That's my biggest challenge. I think, dude, if I was better, if I was good at some other game, dude, I'd be a millionaire, dude. Shit. I don't know. I don't think that's a challenge, though. It's a blessing to be really good at a game. I, I, I find it hard. Like, how do people... I couldn't imagine trying to be a streamer and not having that crutch of being good at it. It's so easy to be a streamer when you're really good because because that gives you most of your fan base just off the rip. Like, like look at Drenny. Drenny's like a cardboard box, but people will watch him because he's good, right? He don't need to do shit else. He don't even need a face cam. He could just play. People will watch him, you know? So it's I'm blessed to be able to have that crutch of being good at a game. I, I couldn't even imagine trying to do this shit and not being elite for real. Do I, I enjoyed playing squads when we did the pass only squads. That was popping. 
Yeah, I think I think as as the more I watch other games and get into Twitch, I see um, just the magnitude of of having a bigger audience in your game. Like Madden is just such a small is such a small game compared to you know shooting games and uh, like World of Warcrafts and League of Legends shits. Like, dude, oh my god. No, it has nothing to do with... Bun- it has everything to do with football. That's all. And I've said this. The football demographic is males, right? Whereas other games have females play them. There's not a female that plays Madden. Like, there's just not... If you, I mean, PG-13 from <laughs> and Madden Nation, right? So, you're already cutting... You're already cutting... You have no females. Then... You only have males from like what age, thirteen to what? I mean, I guess the age in America is endless. You could have fifty-year-olds in the chat, right? Okay, there's four women in the world that play fucking Madden, boys. Okay, let's keep going. Come on, come on, let's keep naming the names. Let's go. Come on, are we running out yet? Are we running fucking out yet? Lauren Walker, Prim, who who probably didn't know shit about Madden until K Mac, right? Okay, who else? Who's the other one you said? Queen Jess. Okay, we're at three. Okay, what else? Who else? Are we done yet? Are we done? Can I make go back to my point? Tekanana? So y'all found the three women that play Madden. Nice job, boys. I'm glad. And this is the internet. No, you're wrong. Women play Madden. Look. Anyway, it's just the demographic is so much smaller than other games. You know what I realized? And this is when I realized the shit, right? Dude, my stream numbers, I, yo, I get killed on, like, I stream at night. I get killed on Sunday, Monday night, at when there's fights, when there's big basketball games. That shit hurts. I'm in competition with the NFL. For real. And I realized it as I was watching this weekend. I'm watching the Eagles. All the Apex streamers are on. The people that watch them don't give a shit about sports. They don't care. Dudes be streaming Apex during the Super Bowl. Like, they don't give a shit. And and it, what y'all got... It's, it's, it's hard to realize that there's men in this world that don't give a shit about sports. They don't care. For real. And I'm like, fuck. I'm telling you, it's crazy to me. But you can see in my, per- like, my 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 plan now is like, okay, Monday night, Sunday night, I want to start my stream around halftime of the game. And you see, like, my number of the stream, once the game goes off, boom. I just, like, I, like everybody comes to the stream now. But during the game, no, they're not there. Madden is limited. I said, and I, I remember asking Gut Fox, when he was on the show, I said, "What is the what is the height of Madden streamers? Are we here?" <laughs> exactly. That's all we. It's not. It's only America, man. I I can't lie. We do have hella some Europeans, some Australians. We got some people out there. We got my man Leo from Brazil who speaks Portuguese. He told me Spanish and Portuguese are different, but they're similar, right? Like, why the fuck do Spain and Portugal have different languages? Who the hell do they think they are? Why does Portugal have shit in a different language? Who does Portugal think that? Who the hell do they think they are? They're going to make their own, they're going to make their own goddamn language. And the worst part about Portuguese people is that they make their own language and it's damn near the same as Spanish. They changed two or three words. Now I don't know the language. Why couldn't you just keep the same language, right? As a streamer, you got to decide to win or have fun. What the fuck type of... And we're, what NLB, what type of sentence is that? You have to decide to win or have fun? So in other words... If you lose, you have fun, but if you win, you don't have... That, that made no sense, dude. 
Madden needs a ninja. With your experience, what do you think is a good alternate playbook to try? Ed, what do you mean alternate playbook? Like other than the one you run? I don't understand what that question was. Be entertaining. You can play any game you want. I mean, that's simply not true. Oh, like those four, those like four or five extra playbooks. I, I, I don't know, dude. I really don't know. Running gun actually, I think had a good bunch. I think West Coast is probably good too. Yes, multiple D has 3-4 or 4-3, but you should not be running any of those defenses. They both suck because EA ruined linebackers. Do I fear the world? Lamrack, what type of... Why do you feel the world? Do I fear the world? No, because you can't change it. Like It's not like you can move to another world, right? You know, I feel like you just have to... I'm glad I kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, this stream kind of keeps me in touch with the world, I guess. Like, you young bastards. Like, y'all kind of keep me hip. I mean, I'm pretty damn hip, to be honest. I might be the hippest. For Honestly, I might be the hippest man streamer there is. Like, on, on social media, on every. I might be the hippest. Right? But I feel like... I feel like you guys helped me stay that way a little bit, you know. So I'll always be on top of things in the world to help my son as best he can. The best running back ever is Barry Sanders. Should Madden come out every year? That's a good that's a good topic. Cuz not a lot of games and 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 I remember Rex telling us this is that it's hard to put make a new game every single year. It's hard to make a new game every year and then work on the work on the old game as well, you know. Five guys are in and out. You should honestly be banned for asking that question. The the bigger question is Wendy's are in and out. Actually, the bigger question is Burger King are in and out. A Whopper or the In and Out Burger? What are you picking? Madden should be free. I don't know how. I don't know how in this day and age they're charging sixty dollars for video games. Why, dude? Shit is just. I guess they can, right? Lopin, I told you we went to a baby play date. I don't know what Nations is. Top five quarterbacks go. Brady, Peyton Manning, Joe Montana. (sighs) Elway Marino? Oh, A Rod, yeah, A Rod. Elway Marino, or maybe Elway Breeze is close to. My top three is locked, though. The top three is locked, right? Brady, Peyton, Montana. Mahomes is close. I'm not, I mean, Mahomes not up there yet. Best tips to play Madden competitively. Watch me, you know. Oh, the Sixers are in a hell game with no players against the Bucks right now. Favre is in the talks in top five ever. Uh, are you taking Favre over Elway or Favre over Marino or Favre over Rodgers? I don't think so. Is Madden the only game with ebooks? See, that's a great question. I think Madden lends itself to the ebooks, but. Every game should have a strategy type guides to buy, right? I would be on when I was a kid and I would play Metal Gear, or I would play Max Payne, 
I would want the strategy guide. But let me grab that strategy guide. And I would read the guide, like, bro. And it was, like, kind of help you through the level, right? I would do that. I feel like, dude, if... Dude, if I was a Apex streamer, I would have sub tips like, yo, this is what I like. To, these are my glitchy spots on the map. This is where I like to land and rotate and shit. Like, I would have tons of sub tips, for real, for real. I feel like Apex could have... Uh, ebooks. I feel like Warzone could have ebooks. This is the best loadout. Uh, this is where I like to land on the map. This is it's just for real. I tried to tell. Listen, I I I tried to uh, I tried to tell Gunski and AJ like MLB should one hundred percent have ebooks. Holy shit! Yes, dude. How to pitch with the new Edward Cabrera? What pitch combos to use. On top of that, how to hit Edward Cabrera. What to look for. What should your approach be? Dude, they could farm. And I part of me like is like, dude, I wish I was better at it. That way I could put the ebook out, you know? For real. 2K. Holy shit. Those dudes that are good at 2K, dude, come on, man. Everybody wants to be good in the park. What dribble combos... Dude should be selling themselves. And I remember, you know what's crazy is that somebody did it in 2K last year and everybody flamed them. And they're all fucking idiots. Because this dude that made an ebook for 2K is just, he's so far ahead of everybody. It's scary. For real. I told Gun, I, yo, I told Gunski and AJ to do that shit. I tried. And, you know, it's like, I told them. What's my favorite formation in Seattle book? What's the worst player I would take for Ben Simmons, J. Day? Ooh, that's a good question, man. I this is how I feel about the Sixers. The Sixers have a really good team. You see all these young players out here: Maxi, Thibault, shit. Who else? Shake is okay. Cork Moss is, but they have a really good team. The superstars are kind of ass. I'm gonna be honest. Embiid is solid. I, Embiid is not. I, it's crazy to say this. I don't know. I don't know if he's like a number one. Like he's like, he's just a center, so he can't be like that closer. He can't be a clutch player. It's hard for him to be that person. Just because he's a center, he's easy to double team and take the ball out of his hands. It's just, it's tough for him to be a center or a, a clutch player for real, for real. And it's like. You need, you kind of need that superstar. Like, they need, bro, they need Dame. And for me, why don't you trade Ben and like Maxi for Dame Lillard? Now, for real, like, I would trade Ben and every young player that we got for Dame Lillard and then put Dame and Embiid out there. Let's fill out the roster and let's go. Now, Maxi looks like he, dude, he looks like the real deal. He looks tough as shit. I mean, Maxi looks like, phew. Portland will only do it if it's like, dude, this is, there's no future for this. For real, for real. That, that, that and for me, I don't want to trade Ben for a, I feel like if you trade Ben for a lesser, like not an all-star, you know what I'm saying? Like who, like McCullum is a solid, really good player, but is he a superstar? No, oh, I feel like. Ben is such like a, there's no player like Ben, dude, because he sucks, but he's great at the same time. Like, he completely is a piece of shit, sucky ass player, right? But then he's also, dude, this guy's fucking amazing. At the same, there's there's never been a person that gives both sides of the spectrum like that. It's like unreal. It's like, for, no, seriously, like, it's like, he sucks, but he's tough. Never. Never. Now, I told Gene, well, I was talking to Gene the other day, and I said, Ben is better than Russell Westbrook because Ben doesn't shoot. You know? Russell letting that bitch fly. And then they make fun of Ben for not shooting. He give it to the people that can shoot. Like, nah, y'all shoot it. Go ahead. Right? Ben says, nah. <laughs> I'd rather somebody that can shoot shoot the ball. I never understood that. Well, yo, Ben Simmons should shoot. Why? He can't shoot. Like, what the? That's like saying Brady should scramble. Like, why? It's the dumbest shit in the world. Ben should shoot jumpers. What the fuck? 
No, he should just play with. He should just play with fucking. You know, he should play with. You know, just more passion, more aggressiveness, more urgency. That's what Ben sucks at. That's all. It's not him shooting. Like then they say that he's a point guard. He should score. Why? Why should he shoot? Because he's a point guard. Finish that sentence. Why is my question. He's a point guard. He should shoot. What the fuck? Did you wake up yesterday and start watching basketball? Why is my question. Ben for Kyrie. I hate Kyrie. I think he's. I think. I, I think Kyrie is a, a nincompoop airhead. But Ben for Kyrie, I would do that in a snap in a heartbeat because I feel like that's the only way the Sixers can really go crazy because they get a superstar and a player they would need that fits pretty well. Ben is a threat on offense if he goes and tries to score. You don't need to shoot to be a threat on offense. I like y'all like I swear Ninkum poops, bro. Ben is easy as fuck to guard, but it's not because he doesn't shoot. Let that be known. Same motherfuckers say Giannis should never shoot. He should drive every time. Right? Y'all the same people. Why why does why does Giannis shoot? Right? Giannis should not, he should just go dunk on people. It has nothing to do with I hate when people bring up shooting. I feel like that's just I feel like that's just the easiest when you talk about Ben, that's the easiest thing to say is that he can't shoot. Huh? No shit, Sherlock. No shit. And you know what? There's like people that say, damn, Henry Ruggs should have got an Uber. No shit. I'm glad you added to the conversation, dude. Henry Ruggs should have got an Uber. My man George Niang going crazy. I hate people like that. They just talk to talk. Like, stay the fuck. Like, what did you add to the conversation? Right? I hate that. I, I hate people like that. Yeah, but it's just, it's just obvious, like, obvious shit. And they just say it to, to be part of the conversation. I do love... The Sixers uniforms are good, yeah, and they they that's like the the old stadium they had was the Spectrum, and it had like the spectrum of colors. That's why they have those colors like the yellow, the orange, the red, the blue, the green. All right, last chance for questions that aren't about basketball. Last chance, boys. Last chance, you. Jokic, I mean, yeah, fight, dude. Let them dudes fight. That's why hockey. That's why hockey patrols itself. You push somebody, they push you back. Move out the way. Y'all can fight for thirty seconds. Then you go back to your huddle. You sit out for five minutes, and you're back in the game, and it's over. Right? That's why fighting should you. You should be able to fight. But honestly, hockey needs fights because it's just too physical and too back and forth and too much of that shit. So you need the fight. For real. The malice had nothing to do with people fight. It had nothing to do with players fighting. And honestly, the malice wouldn't have happened if they would have just let uh, Ron Artest fight Ben Wallace, right? But that's why they always say hockey hockey kind of polices itself because of the fights, you know. OBJ's next team. Why this is my question. Why do you why do y'all ask me like I have like I'm tapped in, like I'm Schefter? I could really spin a wheel and point at a team randomly. It would be as good as my opinion on where OBJ goes. 
You know, why would you want to sign Beckham? You're a football team. Why would you want to sign Odell Beckham? You sign Odell Beckham, he becomes the number one story on your team, right? He becomes all the focus, for real. He becomes all the focus of the attention. Every other player that's been in your organization, that's been on your team for, what, two months now, that's been working their ass off, now becomes irrelevant to the media. It is all about Odell. So how does that make the rest of your team feel? Damn, this guy comes in here, now he's all of a sudden, he's the entire spotlight of everything. This Odell guy, right? I want I, I don't I want anything to do with Odell. Why would y'all want to sign him? Who does anybody in the chat and their football team want Odell on their team? Yeah, like Antonio Brown, yes. A good coach shuts down media attention. I don't know about that. OBJ needs a proven quarterback, does he? He needs a proven quarterback. He needs the right conditions, not too cold. He needs a team that passes. He needs to line up on the left side. He needs to be put in motion. He needs everything to be perfect. How good is this guy if he needs all this extra shit? For real. The fuck? It's crazy, dude. Most wide receivers are divas. Well, Terrell Owens and Randy Moss are first ballot Hall of Famers. Odell Beckham can't hold their jock strap. Either of them. So let's reel that one in, boys, okay? Let's reel that one in. I mean, the only one... The only one... I mean, you could think Chad Johnson, right? But was Chad really a diva or just a clown? I don't think Chad was a diva. He was just a clown, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know if he was a diva. And I don't even know if Odell is over Chad. Who do y'all got? I'm taking. I'm probably taking Chad over Odell. So it's like, and and listen, T.O., who is the third best receiver ever on damn near everybody's list, he wasn't fucking worth it. The Niners got rid of him. The Eagles got rid of him. The Cowboys got rid of him. He wasn't worth it. And T.O. was unreal. Like, unreal. Not Odell. T.O. was unreal, and he wasn't worth it. For real. So, like, how do y'all think, like, like, I don't know. It's just for me. Well, yeah, T.O. was a mega diva. He was way worse than Odell. I don't know what's going on with Odell, but I've talked about it before. It's like, how do you, like, quit? How does it work? How do you just, like, I'm not getting the, it's a me guy. That's, it's just, he's just a me guy. And that's cool. The more I the more I watch football, the older I get with sports, the, the more I realize, dude, my dad would used to tell me this stuff back in the day. He used to tell me stuff about me people, me guys. Ricky Waters, dude. Ricky Waters, when I was like six or seven, was like my he was on the Eagles. He was like my favorite running back. Ricky Waters. My dad was like, he's a me guy. He, shit like that. I'm like, oh, I like him. It's, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm starting to realize some people are me guys for real. He was open. Baker is ass. So let's quit. I was open. You didn't throw me the ball. Let's quit and pout. Is that how is that is that what's acceptable? Right? Is that how we're going? Is that what we're doing? I was open. You didn't throw me the ball. I'm I'm pouting now.
Yes, T.O.'s over Calvin. Absolutely. T.O. played with a broken leg in the Super Bowl, had nine catches for 122 yards. That's a good point, Buzz. Calvin could have been better for sure, but he's not better. He ain't had that. He ain't had that type of career. But part of that was he was on the Lions. God bless him. A lot of that probably was he on the Lions. He did have Stafford was a solid quarterback. One thing about Stafford is he air that bitch out for real, for real. He will air that bitch out. Do I think what Kyrie... Ky, so Kyrie, hear me out, boys. He doesn't want to get the vaccine. So he, because of that, he's not playing. Is that pretty much what it is? I mean, at the end of the day, it goes back to this is... But then we talk about this, like... We talked about this on the stream, the vaccine shit. People say you don't have a decision. Kyrie has a decision. His workplace says, get the vaccine or you can't play. He said, no, I don't want to, I don't want to play, Right? I don't want the vaccine, so I'm not playing. So he made that choice. That's his choice, you know? Yeah, that's how I you Do you think Calvin ever ran a route and didn't get the ball? Do you think Larry Fitzgerald ever ran a route and didn't get the ball? Like, even T.O., man. He played with Jeff Garcia. Like, uh, come on, dude. Do you think he ran and never and got the, and didn't get the ball a couple times? It probably happens to every wide receiver, you know? I just feel like I, I just don't understand the old Dell thing. I don't, you know, I don't understand the like something's bad's happening to him because he not like like there's some tragedy happening to him. What's the tra like? Oh, it's so free Odell. It's so terrible. They're not throwing him the ball. I hate that that idea, dude. I don't know what's gonna happen with Kyrie. I don't know. That's what I'm saying, J Day. Garcia had his time though, for real. You would who Tim Ain't no way with a walking face you're taking Reggie Wayne over Terrell Owens. Ain't no way somebody's taking Michael. Do, do, do you know who Terrell Owens is? Michael J. Win Win? Do you know Terrell Owens? Are we talking about the same guy? You gotta be tripping. Dude, T.O. Was, T.O. was a thoroughbred. Dude, T.O. was... Cuz. Cuz. Y'all don't... Y'all must not know, dude. T.O. was insane. Antonio Brown... Antonio Brown's probably top 10. Probably with Julio, too. Yo, that the yo the year the Eagles had T.O. That dude was a thoroughbred. That dude was insane. <laughs> like he was fast as shit, and like dude, he was like a horse, like a horse. DK is kind of like I feel like I feel like T.O. was quicker than DK. I don't know if y'all feel like I feel like DK is fast. I feel like T.O. was quicker, man. Just T.O. was just. Whew. DK got DK got his physical stature, but he don't got his explosiveness. If that makes sense. Damn, Sixers lost. Damn, GGs. I just, I don't like, the more, like I said, I went back to my point, the more I watch football, the more I realize it's about the team. It's about putting your, your team first, like, and doing what your, your job is, you know, that's, that's an important part of football, you know, and I don't know how it gets to a point where a receiver just wants to quit. I don't know how it gets to that, you know, that's all.
I can see if you were 0-8 or some shit, but, dude, the Browns are, like I said before, the Browns are still in the fight. The season kind of just started. Why don't people talk about Wilt? Why don't people talk about Johnny Unitas? It was before highlights. It was before sports were the biggest thing in America, right? Back when Wilt was balling, boxing was probably bigger than football or basketball. Boxing was probably the biggest sport in America. Boxing or baseball, maybe, you know? How do y'all let that happen? How do you, you know one thing that always made me mad about the Eagles was how y'all let T.O. and McNabb just act like bitches? How y'all let that happen? We're talking about like superstar players. Like this was McNabb's prime. He was good, like really good. And T.O., how do y'all let them beef like little fucking girls? I would have grabbed them both by the back of the neck and be like, yo, figure it the fuck out. Because we got something special here, right? Will Chamberlain was playing in NBA at 16. Lamrack. That's completely not fucking true. Who told you that shit? <laughs> Will Chamberlain was playing in NBA at 16. He went to Kansas, dude. What, did he go to Kansas when he was 14? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, what Wikipedia link are you hitting? <laughs> Yo. Alright, man, we gotta do unbearing requests. Y'all getting carried away. We getting carried away. Three unbearing requests? Damn, boys. We got. Oh, we got nine? What is this? Oh, we got nine. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Three new ones, three new ones, three new ones. Here we are. Start down here, APW. I told APW owes a gift or he's banned. Okay. I cannot express how regretful I am my actions. You are the best thing that ever happened to me, yet I took you for granted. I know I have hurt you. I'm sorry for the core of my heart. I haven't... <laughs> I shouldn't have behaved the way I did, and I want you to know that I love you and will do anything for you to forgive me and allow me back into your life. That's a, Honestly, that was close to what Wara said to Skimbo. Close to it. That guy's probably a juicer too. That probably got that dude probably got five hundred subs to gift me, but not no more. Mallow banned him. I don't watch football neither. Colon cancer is real. Poop has been wet lately. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. I'm a white E forty. I'm a white E forty. Jesus. Dudes had to like dudes had to get banned. Like they gotta get banned for taking it too far, bro. They have to. They have to get banned for taking it too far, yo. Been talking to Ward too much, this is true. Ram Ranch. See? There it is, Ram Ranch. Hello podcast. As I sit here at my trusty desk writing this request. <laughs> I am filled with anger and sorrow. I'm angry that I let the chaos of the chat get to me, resulting in me requesting an inappropriate song that will not be named in an effort to reduce future requests. I fully accept my ban, as I deserve it. 
But as the great Pete Rose once said, if someone is gracious enough to give me a second chance, I will need a third. I won't need a third. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Sincerely, Nutter Butters. <laughs> okay. Coming in strong. Okay. Firm request. Firm request. Real girthy. All right, is Malo getting carried away, boys? Talk to me. Like, is he, I mean, like. Good band. All right, get him out of here. Trying to sub up. All right. Chat, remember, if sports guru ever types in here without being subbed, he's banned again. 43rd. <laughs> this nasty. Yo, this dude is a nasty. Like, this dude don't say shit. Like... All y'all troll, but some people just troll. Like, he don't even add the combos. Look. I'm telling you, he don't, y'all know he's a nasty fuck. I don't like, I don't like this guy, bro. I don't like this guy. But it looked like he gifted a sub, and somehow he has a sub, so we'll let him back. Some people might have played the flute. I don't like the cut of his jib. <sighs> Not playing Apex. I'm done, dude. After I carried Ward and Ed to a dub last night, I realized that's the height of my Apex career. I carried Ward and Ed to a victory. Honestly, I might play that game back so y'all can watch that. I might do that. Apex highlights of the night. I might play that game back. Y'all can watch it and see how crazy I went. For real, for real. What the hell is League? Ooh. I can tell you what I did download. Just I'm going to tell y'all. The Needed Gaming Racing Team might be in full effect. Just saying. My racing league team. Mm hmm. Downloaded that Forza. That Forza. That Forza. Cuz. I was playing like the first intro. I was like, this is the best game I ever played. I was like, this is the best shit ever, dude. <laughs> I was like a little kid playing a game again. I was there like, Cause that shit was crazy. I only played. I only played like two minutes. I was like, "Yo, this is tough." What other games are y'all playing? I asked Twitter what games are they playing. Dudes were saying some weird shit. I was like, "Y'all be playing some weird shit." <laughs> Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Dragon spell. Where's Dragon Tiger at? Dragon Tiger has, you know. Forza is not on PlayStation. It's only it's an Xbox exclusive. Kabayo, you know how good I am at chess? Watch. Watch how good I am. Y'all think I win or lose? First game versus a random. Win or lose. Chat bets. Chat bets. This might be the end of the podcast every week. Chat bets. Do I get a dub? First game. I haven't played chess in 10 years. Do I get a dub? Bet. You got one minute. Do I get this dub? Do I get this dub ski? Haven't played chess in 10, in 10 years. I got the castle. 
I got the horse. I'm gonna put beginner. Should I put beginner or or intermediate? I'm putting beginner. I'm putting beginner. No way I'm winning. Okay, I got a castle and a horse and the pointy man. Intermediate? I think I go beginner. I think I go beginner, bro. All right, just bet. Well, yeah, I'm going beginner. I'm going beginner. We got 23 people on. Yeah, okay, okay. Y'all giving me some props. Okay, respect. Respect it. I respect it from the boys. I respect it. Firm handshakes. I win these. I called it a horse. I mean, it's a horse. Let's do this. Can I do this? Oh, there it is. I'm capping. I know it's called a knight and a rook and a bishop. Relax. I might have bluffed y'all to some bets. A knight, but I know I know how to play chess. Come on, dude. I'm that good at Madden. Y'all think I don't know how to play chess? Come on, dude. Play as a guest. Let's get it. Am I playing right now? Custom game. Uh, standard. Play. Okay. I found somebody. Let's get it. Who am I playing? Guest. Is it on me? This is where I'd be confused. Like, which one is... Oh, queen is on his color. So this is my queen. So I got... Let's get it. Dumb shit. Yeah, what's up? What's up, guest 147002761 No, I'm playing guest one four seven zero zero three. Maybe I don't. Can I control these dudes too? I mean, he's not going. Like, what's he doing? This is not the CP two, bro. It's not the CPU. New, there you go. Okay. Okay. Respect them. That was a bold move by my man. That was, I like to get these boys involved. I like to get my horse involved. You know what I'm saying? When I get the horse involved. Okay. He want to get the horse involved too. Listen. Wham. I got two of them bitches. What's up now? Guess the one for... Ooh. Okay. Okay. I see you cooking with the gas. Cooking with the gas. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Move my man right here. Right here. Oh, okay. Okay, partner. You was feeling a little you was feeling a little froggy. Now make a move. Oh, okay. We're gonna start trading early. Okay. I'm a listen, I'm a man that likes to trade. I'm a man that likes to trade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Real aggro. Boom 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 boom. I'm gonna get my, I wanna get my queen here. That's what I want. Ah, no, I can't, cause it's just. Put this boy right here. Boom. Okay, aggro, aggro. Oh, you gonna castle me? Okay, you a whole bird. Okay, okay. I'm getting aggro. You know why? Cause fuck this guy. I know I'm tough. I know I'm tough. Y'all ain't to tell me. Ooh. If I take that, he got that doubled. He just going home, home, home. I can't really go anywhere else. Crazy. I need to get my queen up here. All right, let me move this guy here. He all the way back here. I feel like I got him on the ropes a little bit, boys. What we think? What we think? He kind of pinned back. I got him. I got him pinned back here. I want to get my queen right here so I can line up this spot. Oh, he castled anyway. I can't even do that fucking... <sighs> All right, that hurt us. That hurt us a little bit here, boys. We got to retreat, I think. I think we got to retreat. <sighs> that was a bitch-ass move, kid. I think we got to retreat. Retreat!
Okay, let's get my rook right in here. That's a good comms. That's good comms, Legos. That's a good comms. That's good comms. I get my I get my little my, my rook involved. Come on, man. He's taking too long though. I don't like when they take this long, boys. Okay, he getting real oh, he getting real physical right now. This my queen though. I can't castle this way or that way. How our position is rough. My knight's kind of pinned back here, but we are right, Relax, relax. Y'all, damn, y'all coaching me worse. Y'all coaching me worse than the fucking, you know what I'm saying? All right, he's going to go here. He's going to try to hit me with the oop. We're going to do that, though. Let's go. My man showed 19 months. What are he doing a little too much? Move my C file pawn. What the fuck are y'all? What? Y'all just rapping and snapping, huh? I need to get these boys up out of here, bro. Movements, movements. You gotta see open, you take it. What the fuck is the D pawn, dude? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ooh, okay. Respect is not given, it is earned. I gotta move my queen, of course. Or I could just do this. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, dumbass. Gotta do that, right? I couldn't take his rook. He would have took my queen, you idiots. Come on, man. Take his rook. See? Come on. That's why I'm listening, you lamb rack. Okay, we gotta double this boy up. How do we double this boy up? Right here. Uh huh. Wham. Right here with it, right, boys? We go right here with it. We double my man up. Wham. Okay, we got him doubled. You ain't gonna take him. Honestly, I could get right here. Hmm. Why would I trade my queen for a rook, Lamrack? What the fuck are you talking? Oh my god. You wanted me to take it. He would he could have got I had to move my queen. Lamrack, you're terrible. You're it just confirms you're terrible at this game. Like you're worse at this than you are at Madden. They bet that I wouldn't win this game of chess. Like, do you know how good I am at chess? I'm like a, I'm like a protege. My knight was better to protect my bishop. Good comms, dragon spell. Good comms. Actually, good comms, buddy. Okay. Now I feel like we get a little froggy. I feel like we can. We, we're on the verge of getting froggy here, boys, because we got. We got our, our 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 rooks lined up. We can get them lined up pretty well here, right? That's how I'm feeling. But oh man, fuck! Ooh, I f oh no, the the rook's still there. Fuck. I mean, we're so lined up heavy here, boys. Like, we are heavily lined up. I feel like we got to get our rooks involved to get to attack right now. Take out his knight. What knight? What the fuck are y'all talking about? How can I take his knight? What the fuck? Oh, like this? But then he just takes my bishop with the fucking... With his queen. Do y'all play this game? Like, do y'all... No, 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 no bullshit. Do y'all play this game? Or y'all just talking? Like, seriously. Take his knight. Of course I can. But then I just lose my bishop. 
the fuck? I don't want to do that. I'm like, yo, I got all this, all this ground locked. I got, I'm moving this here. I got control of this area. That's fine. I really feel like this is the move. I really feel like this is the move here. And if he takes me here, I take him here. Boom. Oh, no, no, no. I can't move. Yeah. I feel like this is the move up here. The only thing to do is swipe me with him. Then I swipe. Then I swipe here with the bishop. And I have a clean go in right here with the queen if he doesn't block it. Right? Because I could trade a rook for a rook right here. I think that's my move. And he has to take it or his checkmate right here. Oh, no, he can move back. Oh, his checkmate. He has to take. Then I go here, right? This is fucking no brainer. He can't, he can't, st this is it. This is GG's. He's cooked. No, I just take this, GG's. Thanks for fucking participating. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I don't need y'all help to do this. GG's only. That's the end of the podcast. Told you, don't bet on me. Come on, man. Don't bet against me. Any game mode. Any game. I'm a renaissance, man. I do it all, baby. Need a podcast episode 151.